وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله الذي هدم بالموت مشيد الأعمار وحكم بالفناء على أهل هذه الدار وجعلهم فيها أعراضا لسهام الأقضية والأقدار وأجرى عليهم أمراضا تزعجهم عن القرار أحمده سبحانه وتعالى وحلاوة محامده تزداد بالتكرار وأشكره وفضله على شاكره مدرار وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له الملك العظيم القهار شهادة أدخرها ليوم تذهل فيه العقول وتشخص الأبصار وأؤمل بها من كرمه جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه البرارة الأطهار ما تعاقب الليل والنهار وسلم تسليما أما بعد إخواني في الله ما بلافد بعض السستز إني أحبكم في الله I love you all for the sake of Allah لقد أصبح كثير منا يشكو قسوة قلبه Many of us are complaining about the darkness of our hearts and how hard our hearts have become and we also are complaining about how our, how our iman has decreased وما ذاك إلا سبب من أسباب الغفلة and the reason to that my beloved brothers and sisters is because of the heedlessness and how we've become heedless of a reality that awaits us and so that's why I find it necessary that I speak about and that I talk about that which will bring light to the heart again and soften our hearts and that will allow our iman to increase may Allah wa ta'ala increase our iman for us and forgive us and from the greatest things my beloved brothers and sisters I'm from one of the greatest things in which softens the hearts and also increases your iman is the remembrance of death. Death is one of those things that can remind you and wake you up. As some of the Salaf, they said, Shay'ani qata'anni ladhat dunya Two things have disconnected the joy of this dunya from me. Some of the Salaf, they said, Shay'ani, two things. Qata'anni These two things, they have disconnected from me what? لذاذة الدنيا The sweetness and the joy of this dunya It's connect, disconnected from me يعني, These two things have become the reasons for me not to taste the dunya And not feel the dunya Is ذكر الموت The remembrance of death والوقوف بين يدي الله عز وجل And knowing that I'm one day going to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The poet he said وكيف يلذ العيش من كان موقنا how can he enjoy this world and this dunya, the one who knows is going to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? بِأَنَّ الْمَنَايَا بَغْدَةً سَتُعَاجِلُهُ How can a person enjoy this dunya and have fun and laugh and enjoy himself? And he knows that death can come to him suddenly. وَكَيْفَ يَلَذُّ الْعَيْشَ مَنْ كَانَ مُوْقِنَا how can he enjoy the joy of this dunya? The one who is certain about what? بِأَنَّ إِلَاهَ الْخَلْقِ لَا بُدَّ سَائِلُهُ That Allah is the one that's going to question you, subhanahu wa ta'ala, interrogate you. Always remember that line of two lines of poetry. وَكَيْفَ يَلَذُّ الْعَيْشَ مَنْ كَانَ مُوْقِنَا بِأَنَّ الْمَنَايَا بَغْتَةً سَتُعَاجِلُهُ وَكَيْفَ يَلَذُّ الْعَيْشَ مَنْ كَانَ مُوْقِنَا بِأَنَّ إِلَاهَ الْخَلْقِ لَا بُدَّ سَائِلُهُ How can you enjoy this dunya and find joy in it when death can come to you suddenly? You can die any time, any minute, any second. How can you enjoy this dunya when you're certain that one day you're going to stand in front of Allah and He's going to, he's going to interrogate you and ask you questions? Abu Darda radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, Kafa bil wa'idhan. Death is enough as a reminder. 
وكفى بالدهر مفرقا اليوم في الدور وغدا في القبور and time is the one thing that's going to separate us all death is the best reminder you can give a person to stand over a grave and look at it and remind yourself that one day you're going to be from the inhabitants of this grave one day you're going to be living there one day that's your house today you're in this world and tomorrow you're in your grave the poet he said udhkuri al-mawta wa da'wim dhikrahu inna fi al-mawti lidhillub ibar وكفى بالموت فعلم واعظا لمن الموت عليه قد قدر. The poet he said, remember death and be consistent in the remembrance of death. وذكر الموت remember death وداوم ذكره and increase in its remembrance. Don't stop it. Be consistently remembering death. إن في الموت verily in death there is a what لذي اللب عبر the one who's smart the the one who's clever. Inside death, there is a reminder. وَكَفَى بِالْمَوْتِ Enough inside death. What's enough for you in death is what? That it's a, the best reminder. وَكَفَى بِالْمَوْتِ فَعْلَمْ وَاعِرًا Death is the, the best reminder for a person. لَكِنْ لِمَنِ الْمَوْتُ عَلَيْهِ قَدْ قُدِّرًا It's been written for you. You have no choice. No one's going to consult you. Do you want to die? Do you want to live? No one's going to ask you that question. And the time that you're going to be killed, your life is going to be taken, no one's going to interrogate, no one's going to ask you that and take your opinion on it. The angel of death will come. أَيْنَمَا تَكُونُوا يُدْرِكُمُ الْمَوْتِ وَلَوْ كُنْتُمْ فِي بُرُوجٍ مُشَيَّدَةٍ You can be in cemented house. You can be in the strongest fortress you want. You can live on top of a, a penthouse and, and lock yourself and place the biggest security you want. When the time comes, your life will be taken from you. We don't know where we're going to die. Wallahi, we don't. We know that our life is going to be taken from us, but we don't know where. We don't know when. So since it can be anywhere and any place, and it can be in any situation, we should always be on our feet. We should always be يعني, exerting effort and hard work. وَلِذَلِكَ إِبْنُ الْقَيِّمُ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ And other great scholars, have powerful statements on it. The poet, he said, الموت كأس وكل الناس شاربه فليت شعري بعد الموت مدار Death is a cup that everybody will sip. الموت كأس وكل الناس شاربه Death is a cup and everybody's going to sip from that cup. فليت شعري بعد الموت مدار But the poet, he said, فَلَيْتَ شِعْرِي بَعْدَ الْمَوْتِ مَدَّارُ Where am I going to be like him after I die? Am I going to be في دار الجنة? And I'm going, am I going to be in Jannah? Or am I going to be in the hellfire? The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He advised in the hadith that Imam Al-Tirmidhi narrated Ibn Majah and Shaykh Muhammad Nasir al-Din al-Albani who authenticated in Sahih al-Jami' that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said in hadith Abi Huraira أَكْثِرُوا ذِكْرَ هَذِ مِنْ لَذَّاتِ Increase in the remembrance of death. When you remember death, you will hasten to the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you remember death, you will run away from sins. ولذلك عمر بن عبد العزيز رحمه الله he wrote إلى بعض أهل بيتي to some of the people of his family يعني some of the people of his house his family members he wrote a letter to them and then he said to them, Amma ba'du, after he said, Alhamdulillah, and after he said, Amma ba'du, to proceed. فَإِنَّكَ إِنْ اسْتَشْعَرْتَ ذِكْرَ الْمَوْتِ فِي لَيْلِكَ أَوْ نَهَارِكَ بُعْعِضَ إِلَيْكَ كُلَّ فَانٍ وَحُبِّبَ إِلَيْكَ كُلَّ بَاقٍ وَالسَّلَامُ He said, Amma ba'du. He said, to proceed, فَإِنَّكَ إِنْ اسْتَشْعَرْتَ ذِكْرَ الْمَوْتِ If you feel the remembrance of death. في ليلك in your night time. أو نهارك or your daytime. يعني whenever, if you remember death, whenever it may be, day or night, it doesn't matter. بغض إليك كل فان. You will start to hate everything that's going to perish, which is the dunya, every, everything in the dunya. If you remember death, everything that you know is going to come to an end one day, you're, just, you're not going to like it. You're going to be like, why? It's just going to go anyways. I'm going to go to die. 
I'm going to leave this world anyways. Everything that's going to perish, you're going to start hating it. And you start to love everything that's going to remain forever, which is akhirah. Ikhwani fi Allahi, my beloved brothers and sisters, kafa bil mawti muqarrihan lil qulubi. Death is enough for us, for our hearts to wake up. It's the one thing that can open our hearts and our chests. وَمُبْكِيًا لِلْعُيُونِ And it's the one thing that can really make our eyes water. وَمُفَرِّقًا لِلْجَمَاعَاتِ And the death, brothers and sisters, is the one thing that can disunite us. Our, you, our wife and a husband, the husband passed away, the wife, she's got no husband. Death, my beloved brothers and sisters, is وَهَادِمًا لِلَّذَّاتِ it destroys the pleasure. It's the destroyer of pleasure. And it disconnects people from their wishes. You are wishing to become an engineer, a doctor, and it's, there is. You died before you could get it. Have you really thought about the day when you are to drop dead? And you leave this place and you go to another place. Have you thought about it? Have you also thought about when you're taken from this big, vast world that you can see and how big it is to a small grave? Have you thought about it? And the people, your friends going to deceive you and your companions and everybody, they're all going to leave you, abandon you like that. They're all going to boycott you. No one's going to go with you in the grave and say, this is my best friend, I want to be in the grave with him. No one's going to do that. Have you also thought about have you pondered over your children and your family, your wife, your wealth, your clothes, all of it will be taken from you. Your wife would be uh, a wife for somebody else after your death. Your children will be taken care, about, taken care of by another man after you or another woman after you. This world will carry on. Things won't come to an end because of your death. Allah says in the Quran, كل نفس ذائقة الموت وإنما توفون أجوركم يوم القيامة فمن زحزح عن النار وأدخل الجنة فقد فاز وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور Every soul will taste death and everybody will be taken based on the hard work and the effort that they exerted. فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَازِ Anyone who is distanced from the hellfire and is placed into Jannah, he has found success. وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَعُ الْغُرُورِ And the joy of this dunya is for a very short period of time. You're not going to be there forever. Al-Allamah Abd al-Rahman Nasr al-Su'diyu, he said, وَهَذِهِ الْآيَةُ الْكَرِيمَةِ Al-Su'di, he said, this ayah, this blessed ayah, فيها تزهيد في الدنيا بفنائها وعدم وعدم بقائها أن this dunya will not remain. This ayah shows us that this dunya that we're in is going to come to an end. It's not going to last forever. وأن متاع الغرور and that the joy that we even take from this dunya is all delusional. تفتن بزخرفها it will fool us. With its glitters and its glamours, and it will deceive us and trick us. And it will deceive you in its يعني, beauty that you see in it. ثم هي منتقلة. But in reality, it's going, it's leaving, it's turning its back on you. رحمه الله رحمة واسعة. And this journey starts with your life or your soul departing from your life, from your body. This journey starts with your soul leaving your body. قال الله تعالى الله says قُلْ يَتَوَفَّاكُمْ مَلَكُ الْمَوْتِ الَّذِي وُكِلَ بِكُمْ ثُمَّ إِلَى رَبِّكُمْ تُرْجَعُونَ the angel of death, 
he's been assigned, go take that person's soul and that's it. That's where the journey starts from. And then after that, you're imma ila jannati or winnar. Allah says, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ ذَلِكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنْهُ تَعِيدٍ You used to try to avoid it. Here it is now, the agony of death has come your way. حَتَّى إِذَا بَلَغَتِ التَّرَاقِيَ وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقِ يعني the soul has reached your collarbone. And the people around you are like, وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقِ Where's the doctor? Where's the doctor? وَقِيلَ مَنْ رَاقِ Where's the doctor? Who can help him? Where's the medicine? وَظَنَّ أَنَّهُ الْفِرَاقِ وَالْتَفَّتِ السَّاقُ بِالسَّاقِ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ يَوْمَئِذِرِ الْمَسَاقِ فَلَا صَدَّقَ وَلَا صَلَّى And look at this part, never gave sadaqah, never prayed. Where are you heading? Where's the direction you're going? إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ يَوْمَئِذِنِ الْمَسَاقِ That's where you're going. That's where you're heading. You're going to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. وَلِذَلِكَ الْعَلَّامَةِ Ibn Al-Qayyim and great scholars have pointed out where is the mother, he says. أَهِنَ الْوَالِدُونَ وَمَا وَلَدُوا Where are the parents? Where, where are they? Now their children have passed away. What can they do for them? أَهِنَ الْجَبَّارُونَ Where are the tyrant people? وَأَيْنَ مَا قَصَدُوا أَيْنَ أَرْبَابُ الْمَعَاصِي عَلَى مَاذَا وَرَدُوا Where are the arrogant, stubborn, where are the sinners and the criminals today? What can they do now? No one can do anything. Brothers and sisters, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he urged us to go and visit the graves so we can remember death, so we can ponder on our situation and where we're heading. وَلِذَلِكَ إِبْنُ مَاجَ narrated in his Sunan and Sheikh Muhammad Nasiruddin al-Albani authenticated it. That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said on the authority of Abu Hurairah, زُورُ الْقُبُورَ فَإِنَّهَا تُذَكِّرُكُمُ الْآخِرَةِ Go and visit the graves for it. Verily, it will remind you of the hereafter. Go to the graves. It will remind you of what? The hereafter. Uthman رضي الله تعالى عنه, it was said, إِذَا وَقَفَ عَلَى قَبْرٍ يَبْكِ حَتَّى يَبُلَّ لِحْيَتَهُ Uthman was said that if he went to a grave, and he stood over it, he will cry until his beard will become full with tears. فَقِيلَ لَهُ They said to him, تَذْكُرُ الْجَنَّةَ وَالنَّارَ وَلَا تَبْكِي وَتَبْكِي مِنْ هَذَا The Jannah is spoken about, the Nar is spoken about. Okay? And you don't cry, but you cry when you come to the grave. And then he said, I heard the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say, إِنَّ الْقَبْرَ أَوَّلُ مَنَازِلِ الْآخِرَةِ That the Qabr, is the first stage of the hereafter. فَإِنْ نَجَى مِنْهُ If the person makes it through the grave, فَمَا بَعْدَهُ أَيْسَرُ مِنْهُ Everything that comes after it is easier. وَإِنْ لَمْ يَنْجُ مِنْهُ And if the person doesn't make it in the grave, فَمَا بَعْدَهُ أَشَدُ مِنْهُ Everything after it is going to be hard. He also said that the Prophet ﷺ said, مَا رَأَيْتُ مَنْظَرًا قَطُّ إِلَّا وَالْقَبْرُ أَفْضَعُ مِنْهُ the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I haven't seen a scene whatsoever except that the grave was the worst of it. The Prophet saying this, Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, the poet, he said, هُوَ الْمَوْتُ مَا مِنْهُ مَلَاذٌ وَلَا مَهْرَبٌ مَتَى حُطَّ ذَا عَنْ نَعْشِهِ ذَاكَ يَرْكَبُ Death, brothers and sisters, there's no running away from it. You think you can run away from it? There isn't. There's no way to go. And there's nothing to resort to. This is it. This is the final stage. This is the Hatmul Lazimun. And when you're taken from that shoulders of the people, the place you're going to is a grave. That's it. Qala Yazid al Rakashi. Yazid al Rakashi, Rahimahullah, he mentions, he says, Dakhaltu ala abidin bil Basra. I entered upon a worshipper from the worshippers who was known in Basra for his worship. وَإِذَا أَهْلُ بَيْتِي حَوْلَهُ His family were around him. فَإِذَا هُوَ مَجْهُودٌ قَدْ أَجْهَدَ الْإِجْتِهَادِ This man was, he was on the moment of death, struggling, going through a lot of hardship. So his father cried. The worshippers on his deathbed, he's dying, and his father cried. 
So he looked at his father and he said, Ayyuha shaykhu, father, ma allabi yubkik, what is making you cry? Qala, he said, Ya bunayya abki faqdaka wa ma'ara min jahdik. I'm crying because I'm going to lose you. And I'm also crying because of the hardship I can see you going through. فَبَكَتْ أُمُّهُ His mother started to cry. فَقَالَ He said, أَيَّتُهَا الْوَالِدَةُ الشَّفِيقَةِ He said, my kind, soft-hearted mother was concerned for me. الرَّفِيقَةِ مَا الَّذِي يُبْكِيكَ What's making you cry? فَقَالَتْ She said, يَا بُنَيَّ my son, أَبْكِي فِرَاقَكَ I'm crying because I'm going to lose you. We're going to be separated. وَمَا أَتَعَجَّلُ مِنَ الْوَحْشَةِ بَعْدَكَ and also the loneliness I'm going to feel after your death. قَالَ فَبَكَ أَهْلُهُ وَصِبْيَانُهُ His family started to cry, his wife and his children. فَنَظَرَ إِلَيْهِمْ He looked at them and he said, okay, what are you guys crying for? My children, why are you guys crying for? يَا مَعْشَرَ الْيَتَامَ بَعْدَ قَلِيلٍ مَا الَّذِي يُبْكِيكُمْ My children who are going to be orphans after me very soon, why are you guys crying for? قَالُوا دَيْ سَرْ يَا أَبَانَا our father, Nabki Firaqak. We're crying because we're going to lose you. We're going to be separated from you. And the fact that we're all going to be orphans after you. Then he said, Aqiduni, Aqiduni, sit me down, sit me up, sit me up. And they sat him up. And then he said, Ala ara kullakum. Why is it that I find all of you? Yabki li dunyai. All of you are crying for my worldly. You're crying because of you want to have a relationship in this dunya. You're crying because you want to have a relationship with me. You also, you're all crying for my dunya. Ama fikum, is it not amongst you? Man yabki li akhirati. Someone who's crying for my akhirah. Ama fikum, is there not amongst you? Man yabki li ma yalqahu fi turabi wajhi. Is there not amongst you one that's crying when the dirt is thrown at my face? أَمَا فِيكُمْ إِذَا نُعْ مَنْغْسْتُ مَنْ يَبْكِي لِمُسَاءَلَةِ مُنْكَرٍ وَنَكِيرٍ Is there not from amongst you someone who's crying and scared about my meeting of Munkara Nakir, the angels? When they question me in the grave, أَمَا فِيكُمْ إِذَا نُعْ فَمَا مَنْغْسْتُ مَنْ يَبْكِي Someone who's crying لِوُقُوفِي بَيْنَ يَدَيْ اللَّهِ رَبِّي When I stand in front of my Lord, the way my situation is going to be. ثم صرخ صرخ صرخة فمات، and then he made a noise. He cried and he and then he died. Brothers and sisters, let's benefit from our last and only chance that we have in this world. This is the only chance that we have to make it. If we don't make it in this dunya, there will no other chance will be given. Let's benefit from brothers and sisters, الدقائق والساعات, the minutes and the seconds, في فعل الخيرات in doing good. And let's stay away from departing from this dunya. Let's be prepared for it when we leave this dunya. That we make sure we don't leave this dunya and we only have little deeds, good deeds. Wallahi as saeedu man wuffiqa li salih al a'mal. The happy person will be the one who's given righteous actions. Was shaqiyu man farrada wa dayya al umrah. And wallahi, the destructed individual is the one, the, the destroyed individual, the, the wretched individual is the one who Allah Ta'ala doesn't allow him to come with righteous deeds while he lived in this world. Hatta idha jaa ahadahumul mawt, that one of them, when death comes to them, qala rabbi rji'uni, he says, oh my Lord, take me back to the dunya. Why does he want to go back to the dunya? I want to do righteous actions when I go back to the dunya. But then look what comes to him. Allah is going to be kalla. Innaha kalimatun huwa qailuha. It's just mere words that you're saying on your mouth. You're not going to be given that. Brothers and sisters understand the reality of this dunya. وَحَذَرْ And stay away from أَنْ تَفْتِنَكْ That it deceives you and lies to you بِشَهَوَاتِهَا 
with its gla- gl- glamours and its glitters. كل من عليها فان ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام. عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله تعالى عنهما he said. أخذ رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بمنكبي. The Prophet grabbed my shoulder. فقال عبد الله بن عمر and the Prophet he said that the Prophet said to me. كن في الدنيا كأنك غريب أو عابر سبيل. Be in this world like you're a stranger or a person who's crossing a road. And Abdullah ibn Umar from that minute on was he used to say, إذا أمسيت فلا تنتظر الصباح وإذا أصبحت فلا تنتظر المساء وخذ من صحتك لمرضك ومن حياتك لموتك. If the evening comes, do not wait from the morning. And if the morning comes, do not wait for the evening. Benefit from your health while you have it before you become sick. And benefit from your life in this world before death comes to you. Akhi al-Habib, my beloved brother and sister, and my beloved family members, take death as a lesson. I ask Allah wa ta'ala to give us a soft heart and that Allah gives us righteous action. Innahu waliyu dhalika wal qadiru alayhi. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdih. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.